Okay, guys, so get well. I was turning on my MetaQuest 3 headset like I usually do, and I was checking for an update because if I'm being honest, that's what I always do because MetaQuest 3 or Meta in general kind of have this whole rolling update thing going out on. So I went and checked and get what? Update V2, V72 rather, is available for me, okay? Now I know some people already got here, even, and even if you did get it, some things are different. I know some things aren't different. So we are going to actually hit learn more like we usually do, so we can go over an overview of what you can expect. We're going to go ahead, close that window right here. And then, you know, of course, bring this window a bit closer. Okay. And then, MediQuest release, release notes for the week of December 9th. Some people may have got on the seminar, but we're just now getting it today. But anyway, so this is what we can expect. We can expect App Gallery for Horizon OS, hand tracking updates. I'm actually very excited for this. We've made hand tracking more stable and responsive when navigating the universal menu in apps, making it easier to interact with your hands in mixed reality. The cursor is now stabilized as you pinch your finger together, making the selection more accurate. We've also improved responsiveness and stability of drag and drop interactions, like dragging a browser tab into a new window. The cursor should also perform more predictably and naturally when your hands are close to your body. Finally, new cursor, new cursor visual, visuals should help locating and targeting elements with your hand. Okay, I actually like this a lot because personally, I actually am one of those people that, like for example, I feel like the cursor like went away from me and the more I try to make it smooth to pinch, it just didn't do it right. So I like that. I like that quite a bit. Remote desktop with Windows 11. Meta is partnering with Microsoft to make Quest a natural extension of your Windows PC. Later this month, people can preview easily connecting their Quest to a Windows 11 PC. Once you've done the initial setup, all you'll have to do is look at your Windows 11 PC and you'll be prompted to pair. Okay, this is actually similar to what something like the Apple Vision Pro does with MacBooks and whatnot. So, I'm actually kind of excited to at least test it out, see what I think of it. But I'll be honest, I'm more excited for the hand tracking update so far. Facebook app update on MetaQuest. I'll be honest, I don't really use Facebook on the MetaQuest, but I'm, current, I'm curious, do you guys use Facebook on the MetaQuest? Feel free to let me know, comment section below. Instagram DMs, spark conversations, reveal 
friends and in your Instagram DMs on MetaQuest. That didn't, oh yeah, I guess there is an Instagram app. I think it installed it for me. So, yeah, I guess it exists. Maybe I'll log into Instagram on the MetaQuest one day. Who knows? Who knows? Captions on cars. We have added the ability for people to turn on live captions with speaker. Okay. When they are on a call in MetaQuest. Okay. Let's see. Travel mode update. Travel mode now has an indicator on the universal menu to help you know when travel mode is turned on. Tracked physical free keyboards. We are making improvement to our keyboard tracking for Quest. 3 and Quest 3S devices. Unfortunately, it also said additionally, tracked physical keyboards will no longer be supported on MetaQuest 2 and MetaQuest Pro. So, I unfortunately, it looks like the further updates we get, the less support that MetaQuest 2 gets for these updates. Let's see. It also says, I know I'm jumping around here, but I wanted to make sure because it's a Quest 3 and Quest 3S devices. So I wanted to make sure about the MetaQuest thing before I said anything. We are moving away from tracking specific keyboard modules to a more generalized solution. Additionally, a pass-through cutout will show the keyboard when you're in the immersive horizon home environment, allowing you to work productivity, um, mixed reality. Okay, your virtual hands will be automatically hidden and input ignored when they are close to a physical keyboard to avoid interruption. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Linking improvements from Windows. Links from Windows are now more consistent and predictable in certain smoother and more reliable navigation across your experience. And then finally, we have boundary improvements. In version 72, when booting into VR Home, you'll get an automatic stationary boundary. When the users enter a VR app, a room scale boundary is triggered. You won't be prompted to find or create a boundary if one is already set up. MetaQuest will automatically detect and use the boundary set up scenario. Okay, this is, this is all very good stuff, okay? So I am more than happy to update my MetaQuest, actually. I am very glad this update exists. Now, I am slightly worried that the, the updates keep getting bigger, so I might eventually run out of storage on my Meta Quest. I hope that's just me being ridiculous, and that can never happen, but we see down the line. Maybe that's a problem for future me, though. Who knows? But yeah, hopefully you guys found this overview helpful. I make these overviews so some of you guys know what's coming with the update, how, what the status of the update is and whatnot. And I'm happy to see that it is coming before Christmas, before the holidays. So that's, that's nice. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the update. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.